Okay, right, so it is recording, good. So we'll continue. So I'm gonna take this um, piece of paper towel, one ply, or tissue paper, and I'm gonna put it where I'm going, where I'm gonna have it. <laughs> and in a second here, I have this little syringe, uh, which is full of pure isopropyl and I'm gonna get it wet with this because the isopropyl is pure it's like 99 percent so it's not gonna damage any electronics actually just clean them then you'll be like what are you doing with that alcohol but if you look when I put it on it almost becomes clear so it's it's gonna be a cast but it's not going to be super visible and the alcohol does two things it makes it become one with the surface like that let me see if i can get the light to be friendly Th this camera sucks but okay wow it just it's just overexposed no matter how like the this isn't even good or bad lighting this is good lighting like i have a light directly on it and it's not super bright but it's either too much washed out or oh sorry anyway this camera sucks but you can kind of see what's happening here the alcohol makes it so that I can make this very flat to the surface that I'm gonna patch and for the patch I'm just gonna use uh, crazy glue and you're like, what? But I'm going to have to tear this apart later anyway. Oops, we're going to leave the tail. I want to leave the tail rotor light exposed. So let me go ahead and clear that spot for the light bulb here in the rear. And I did this with 10th scale bodies uh, often because you're gonna break them anyway so if you can get more runs per item before it's just totally broken and you can't use it anymore then do that unless you just like spending money so the alcohol dries quickly uh, and so does our crazy glue this better be drop style I went to the gas station for this because I didn't have any. Or I can't find it, I should say. Okay, good. It's the drop per style. And it does have a needle in the cap, so I will be able to open it. Cool. Poke the needle in the end. There we go. Which is also how you put it back on when you store it. I'm going to put this over by the fan for a second so that it can go ahead and dry. I'll see if I can pause the video instead of cutting it. I'm um, probably going to do a strip on the bottom seam here too. Um, but the, the tail is the concern. You can see it's drying up now. And I haven't put the... Um, haven't put the crazy glue on yet but the crazy glue will make it get clear again and it'll kind of dry the way but yeah back to the, what I, I used to do it with the 10 scale bodies for my bash or cars when they would get to the point where I wanted uh, to buy a new body because it was falling apart uh, I'd try this first and you know I would do more multiple layers so it was more like a fiberglass kind of body and then you can smooth it, you know, sand it and smooth it and then paint it again. Well, paint it from the inside. So the paint, you paint it f before you make the patch. Uh, if it's got a crack in the cellophane, let's say there's a crack in the body, you touch up the paint on the inside. You can polish the outside because that's what's going to show, like that's your clear coat. Uh, if it's got scuffs in it, 
you can just put some clear coat on the scuffs and it'll kind of clear that out especially once you paint it from the back again um, if you're trying to make it look good if you're just trying to hold it together just do multiple a couple three or four or five layers of that just like I'm showing here and for this little thing I'm not really probably gonna have to do that because I don't I don't crash it too hard often <laughs> today it got caught in the wind and it just it went I was coming down and it just went back up like rapid ex like rapid elevation change and it hit a tree branch and then it fell from like 30 feet and then just straight landed on the tail so that's what broke the tail luckily though you can buy the whole kit uh, a whole new body everything and look at how beautiful these are let me get this out of the background uh, but yeah, look how beautiful. We'll put something else cooler there and get my dinner out of the picture. There, that's cooler to look at. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, usually I don't crash it that hard. But the wind will kill it. That's what I was saying. The whole kit for this you can replace. And it is a nicely detailed model. Damn it, it just keeps cropping up. So, um, nicely detailed fly is great as long as there's oh, no wind <laughs> uh, if there's a little bit of wind you can still fly five mile an hour wind but it's sketchy and then if you have any variances in the wind it does tend to float quite a lot drift quite a lot so you have to be constantly ready for that uh, like I said today though it just it was like a probably a 20 mile an hour, hour updraft out of nowhere it just kind of I wasn't even that high up. I was like 20 feet up coming and I was coming down and it, it, it just suddenly got like pushed up and you could tell cause of the way it went, went up. It was like, Whoa, like, you know, you could hear the, there was a big gust of wind and that took it, pushed it into a tree branch and then that killed the tail rotor. The whole kit's for like 12 bucks though. So new a whole new everything you see in the picture here minus the electronics so that's really nice I mean well I shouldn't say everything all the body stuff including I think it's uh, also coming with the new blades which I'll still have a set of those I haven't had to use yet so I'm gonna go ahead and put a drop down on the tail here and this is a process you don't have to rush it I'm going to start with the most important part, which is the seam here, because that's where it's going to want to break. And the rest is just for to, to make it more uniform looking. I'll put that in the camera. So there's another seam here. I'm going to seal that up. And as I said, I'm going to have to break this later to get the new body parts on. But because I broke the tail, I, I broke the tail in multiple spots. I broke it here. There's a crack there. There's multiple cracks because this is a separate piece that connects here to here. Both of these are foobar, so they're going to get replaced. Basically, and that runs down to the whole body of, you know, from the tail to the body. Uh, it might separate here. So I'm going to have to use several of the parts out of that new kit. But for $12, this is a cheap hobby because my 10th scale stuff was a lot more expensive. And these can get more expensive too, but like this is a cheap trainer helicopter. Just as enjoyable. I, uh, I was thinking about doing my own conversions on it to... See, I'm just kind of buttering that up with the... And it's not going to look perfect, but it will fly. I'd rather it fly for, because I got a, <laughs> it's coming from China. Damn, did I just use the whole bottle here? Don't tell me I used the whole bottle. I barely used any. That's why I do the most important parts first. And the seam down the back here. 
And I'm not going to worry too much about the uh, rear. I almost got stuck to it. Uh, here's a little more here. I'm not going to worry about the tail so much, or the motor up here, because that's been cracked. Uh, you can kind of see the crack. And that motor is not going anywhere because it's also bolted in up here at the top. So it's pretty fitted. Uh, it's hard to move around like I tried to move it, even with the crack. So uh, again, all of this has to be replaced. So it is what it is. But those parts won't be here for two weeks. And I'm like, hell no, not in two weeks. I'm not going to not fly it for two weeks. And crazy glue dries really fast. This plastic will bond together probably just fine without using any of the tissue paper. The tissue paper just, for me, it makes it more of a solid solution than just putting a drop of, because there's some fiber material there, which is going to bind with uh, the super glue. And it dries super fast anyway normally but with, when it goes into the fibers of that paper it dries pretty instantaneous kind of like on like when it gets on skin how it dries so fast to skin same kind of idea so i bumped it and i almost got stuck to it i, f I just barely touched it and i, I was like oops because yeah that messes it all up especially we care about the finish i don't care about the finish on this gonna work I guess the numbers aren't visible anymore but the color is still gray you know what I mean it it just kind of looks like it looks like the plastic was badly molded at the factory that's what it looks like now so the details kind of washed out but it'll fly it'll just give it character it's battle scars it's got a, it's been wounded in a uh, mission and they had to do this to get it home so there we go I'll go ahead and end the video because it's getting kind of long and I don't know if I'm going to put the first part in because it doesn't matter now you saw the important part uh, yep y'all have a good one take care